I'm with my cousin Kadeem today. So. And today we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, trying to be all cool. And today we're gonna review Sailor Moon Crystal episode three. Um, now I'm just gonna let you guys know ahead of time. I do not have anything for the episode in this video because. Yeah, the ancient's being a smart ass, and I'm not gonna have any clips. So she doesn't sorry. know how to search the net like a proper net kid should. Shut up. Anywho, <laughs> anywho, so um, a few things to point out, which you know, which took me by surprise. Um, the introduction to Ray, she is not much of a hothead. When you first see her, she's actually more, you know, like she feels like she's cursed with having these awesome powers. In which case, you know, it's kind of like. Why would you feel such a way? It's, She's mm. coming, like, because she felt cursed about it. That's why it's like, oh, you got screwed your powers. You're not like the rest of the normies. You're, you're different. So we have to and chastise that, you and all that. And that's why she has her crows. They were cute, by the way, cute crows. But yeah, and something else to point out about her. It everyone just points out her. Um, it's not even a characteristic. They just point out right away. She's very pretty. She's very beautiful. Oh, yeah, I'm they like, pointed it out. I'm like, wow. Very everyone, hard. A lot of people pointed it out in that episode, uh, especially Usagi. Yeah, Usagi sees her and she's like... It's like, <laughs> hearts, hearts, like... Ah! It's like, oh my thirsty god. Thirsty <laughs> <laughs> She's not thirsty. But, I don't know. Um, Because I remember in the manga as well, like, they played on the whole, you know, they called each other beautiful, and it's like, oh They're my... They're friends, they can do that. Yeah, that's no problem, and... Even though some people online have, have tried to point out that she could be bi. We're not going to vent on that right now. Yeah, that's what you call fanboy or fangirl opinion. Yeah. Then there's the whole shipping deal. But that's a whole oh. other thing. Mm. Yeah. Also, um, I also like to point out the fact that, um, once again, the arcade was a place where, you can, where Luna was able to just, you know, hear the machine. You're gonna get your communicators today, and I'm just like. Yeah, I found that weird. Like how the the devices come out of the machine. Like what happened is if a kid came out, I was like, hey, check it out. I got the communicator, and next thing you know, they're just hanging out, so it's flickering, going off. I mean, I just have a theory that maybe Luna programmed it to when it's either Serena or anyone else in the group. Like, yeah, my bad. Could be. Uh, you know, like oh, you're playing Taylor V. Okay. It makes sense. Eh. Unless it's just like, hey, I can just touch things and they become the communicator. <laughs> Um, also, another thing, uh, Ray's transformation, the best one out of what I've seen so far. I ain't gonna lie, that transformation was pretty beast. <laughs> like... Phoenix flame, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh, okay then. Um, that's where the budget went. Right? That whole episode, it was all low-key up until that point where they were like, let's do this. Flames. It's like flames. Everywhere. Everywhere. Just like, Every just, be, just, be, just be amazing. Everywhere. Um... Also, I don't know if you guys, well, I'm pretty sure you, you have noticed, but in the very beginning, you know, you take a look at Zoe's site, and a part of me just went, I was lied to as a child. I thought you were a lady. Yeah. I was lied to. Of course, you know, America's not ready for that. America's not ready for that. Nope. Even though they are in the, in the remastered redub. America's still not ready for that. Okay. America's not ready for that. No. They, they can't handle it. They, they're never going to be ready for that. No. Um, also, but yeah, the, this episode is basically, you know, straight to the point, like, oh, there's a problem, you know, and Yusagi actually is like, wait a minute, someone's in trouble. I'm actually going to run and try and save the day. Yeah, she jumped on the back of a moving bus that was going into a wall. Yeah, you know, it wasn't just like, I'm just going to stand out here and awkwardly cry about it. Yeah, the, what, what did he turn into? A stewardess? Y yeah. Yeah, that, that was. It was like, why would I, you? I didn't expect that. Like, why would you transform into something that just, you could have just... She, what, did, what did she say? I, I have to make sure all the passengers are safe. safe. And yeah. I'm just like, you could have just, you know, just went as a normal high school, um, middle school girl. Sorry. <laughs> or is it junior high? I don't even remember. I forget how their system works over there. Yeah, but then on top of that, when she's on the bus and Darian's right next to her, Mamo Chan, I'm going to keep saying these American names, aren't I? Um, but it's just like, oh my gosh, you actually confirmed that he's a high school student, even though they technically said it earlier on, but you actually get a confirmation. Second year, high school. We all know now. You just got learned. <laughs> because in the, because in the original anime, for those of you who, who watched it, it's like, we had no idea if he was either in uh, middle school, which we all, we all doubted. 
high school or college, and it was kind of creepy. We're like, you're dating a 14 year old girl. Yeah, we all had our. Or you know, you were be that. you're befriending a 14 year old girl. Awkward. But yeah, now we actually have confirmation. And by the way, I swear to God, I don't know what it is about Luna, but this time she just looks so cute with her eyes, and it's killing me. Luna is an adorable cat. It's just like, here, just just, just just hold her. And then your eyes just blink out. You're like. Yeah, that's what Usagi did. Just it's like. Tried to, to cover her head, head with the cat. And, and I'm like, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Cat can't get away. She'll never get away. But yeah, and you know, you saw, you saw a, look, a little sneak peek for the next episode. The souvenir. Wonder what's inside the box? We gotta wait and find out. Sorry the review is so short, but we gotta keep it short. Um. I'll definitely make sure that I get on top of putting some clips in. If I don't get to that, I apologize. I'll show her how to find them properly. Maybe. Maybe. But I'll definitely get that done for the next episode. As of right now, sayonara.